Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 8 to the power of x equals to 39 and we solve this problem for the real values of x. So here our x is belongs to r and we find the values of r. So the very first step we are going to do is here first we rewrite this equation as 2 to the power of x and we write this 4 as 2 square and its whole power x and we write this 8 as 2 cubed and its whole power x equals to 39. And now in the next step here we use the uh, nice uh, uh, exponential law. So according to this exponential law we just uh, interchange these two exponents and it will be written as 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x and its whole square plus 2 to the power of x and its whole cubed equals to 39. And now in the next step here you see that all the terms are contains 2 to the power of x so that we will just take here y equals to 2 to the power of x. So when you take y equals 2 to the power of x so that our above equation will becomes in cubic form so it will be written as y plus y square plus uh, y cubed uh, and we move this 39 in the left hand side it will becomes minus 39 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now in the next step here we just rearrange the terms and we write it as y cubed plus y square plus y minus 39 equals to 0. And now in the next step uh, here this equation will becomes cubic equation so that we break here minus 39 and now we <clears throat> the time to find the factors of this cubic equation so that we make the factors of this equation without uh, using the uh, uh, without using the synthetic division uh, so here we easily make the factors of this equation and first we break this minus 39 and it will be written as y cubed plus y square plus y minus 39 and we write this minus 39 as minus 27 minus 12 equals to 0. And now in the next step here we make the pair of y cubed with minus 27 and it will be written as y cubed minus 27 and the remaining terms are y square plus y minus 12 equals to 0. And now in the next step here we use the uh, cubic formula uh, in the first term and, uh, and uh, before using the cubic formula we need more simplification of this equation. So here first we write this equation as y cubed minus we write this 27 as 3 cubed and plus here we break this minus 12 and it will be written as y square plus y minus 9 minus 3 equals to 0. Here we just break this minus 12 and we write it as minus 9 minus 3 and now uh, we again make the pair of y square with 9 and it will be written as y cubed minus 3 cubed plus uh, y square minus this 9 is written as 3 square and plus the remaining terms are y minus 3 equals to 0. So here we need two formulas, the one is cubic formula and the other is square formula. So first we write the cubic formula is a cubed minus b cubed equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square. And the other formula is we have a square minus b square, it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b. So here we need these two formulas. So first we write the cubic formula on the first term and then we use the second square root on the second term. So here our first term will be written as y cubed minus 3 cubed. It is equal to y minus 3 times of y square plus ab. So our a is y and b is 3 plus b square. So our b is 3 square and plus y square minus 3 square is equals to y minus 3 times of y plus 3 and this is over y minus 3 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now in the next step uh, here uh, 
we you see that we have y minus 3 be the common term from each of these terms and it will be written as y minus 3 into here we have y square plus 3y plus this is 3 square equals to 9 and we have plus y minus 3 and we get here y plus 3 plus here you take common y minus 3 and the remaining term is plus 1 and this whole equals to 0. And now in the next step uh, we need more simplification of this term and we have y minus 3 into this is our y square and we add this 3 y plus y becomes here 4 y and this is 9 plus 1 is 10 and 10 plus 3 is 13 and this whole equation equals to 0. So that here we have uh, two cases. The first case is we take y minus 3 equals to 0 and the second case is we take y square plus 4y plus 13 equals to 0. And now in the next step uh, here we just get the value of y is equals to 3 from the first case uh, and now we move toward the second case and here we find the uh, real roots of uh, uh, this uh, quadratic equation so that first we check this quadratic equation has real roots or not by using the discriminant formula so here we have the coefficients of this equation are a equals to 1 b equals to 4 and c equals to 13 and the discriminant formula is written as delta equals to b square minus 4 times of ac so this is the our discriminant formula and now we substitute the values of a b and c here and it will be written as b square so b is 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 13 so we have this is 4 square and 4 square equals to 16 minus 4 times of 13 equals to 52 and 16 minus 52 equals to minus 36 so this minus 36 is less than 0 so this shows that our delta or discriminant is less than 0 it means that this quadratic equation does not have real root so here we just write that this equation has no real root so if it has no real root we rejected this case and we can just proceed here this case only and in this case we have y equals to 3 and in the start of the problem we take our y equals to 2 to the power of x so 2 to the power of x is equals to 3. So now in order to find the value of x here we need to take the log on both of the sides so we take natural log and it will be written as log of 2 to the power of x equals to log of 3 and here we use the nice property of log and we move this uh, x to the front of this log and it will be written as uh, x time of log 2 equals to log of 3 and now we move this log 2 to the right hand side and it will become x equals to log 3 is divided by log 2 and now we use the calculator or log table in order to find the values of these logs so we know that log 3 equals to 0 0.4771 and the value of log 2 is 0 0.30 and 10. So when you divide these two values, so finally you get the value of x equals to 1.5849. So this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.